Hey there, explorers. I'm Dr. Bravestone. This here is my friend, Bertha. Have you guys ever heard an elephant heartbeat? What do you think it sounds like? Well, I've got a stethoscope with me today. Why don't we go ahead and take a listen? Oh, well, I'd say that that's working just fine there, Bertha. Whew. Do you guys think that you can find the heart in the picture? Being part of God's family is about what happens in our hearts, not how we look or what we do. Did you guys find the heart? Good job. I'm glad that you're here with us today to keep exploring. We're in the book of Romans on our adventure. Let's see where we go today. Hi friends, it's me, Gloria. And I am Miss Sarah, and we are so happy to have you here with us today. Um, what's that on your shirt there, Gloria? What? You've got something on your shirt. Can you tell us about it? Oh, that's a cupcake. It's so people know how sweet I am. Oh, um, why do you need a cupcake? to show people how sweet you are. Well, everyone knows that cupcakes are good and sweet, and I want people to know that I'm special too. Oh, you know, Gloria, you don't need a cupcake to show people that you are good and special. In fact, what is good and special about you isn't what you do or wear or anything like that. You know, Paul wrote a letter to the Romans and he talked about this exactly. Really? Really? Oh, let's check it out. In the Bible, in Romans chapter 2, Paul wrote that being one of God's special people is not about something we do or how we look. Even though the Israelites followed God's laws about wearing clothing made of certain materials and eating special foods to show they were God's special people, it actually wasn't about clothing or food. God gave the Israelites rules to follow, but those rules are not what made them his special chosen people. Paul said that a person is one of God's special people when their hearts are changed by the Holy Spirit. He wrote that following the laws won't change people's hearts. It won't make people want to love and obey God. And just following the rules without actually loving God is missing the point. Paul said that people are God's special people when their hearts are changed and they love God and they trust in Jesus. As a result, those people want to do what God says because they love God and they want to make him happy. Um. Sarah, Paul says in the Bible that our hearts can be changed by the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? <laughs> that is a very, very good question, Gloria. Let's talk about that more after we stand and sing and worship our great big God. Will you join us? demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us Amen Amen God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners Christ died for us Amen Amen
Before our break, you asked the question, Gloria, about how the Holy Spirit changes our hearts. But I want to back up and ask you a question first. Have you ever done something that you didn't want to do, but you did it anyway because your grown-up asked you to? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, like clean my room. Oh, I don't like to clean my room. I always have toys and banana peels lying around. <laughs> banana peels? Well, anyway, why do you clean your room if you don't want to? Well, uh, I guess it's because my grown-ups ask me to and I love them. So even though I don't want to clean my room, I want to make my grown-ups happy. Right. So before our break, we learned that following a bunch of rules doesn't make us have a better friendship with God. Just like cleaning your room doesn't make your parents love you anymore. Remember how Paul in the Bible said that our hearts can be changed by the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit helps us realize that we sin. We all do things that that make us feel bad on the inside or, or that hurt other people. And the Holy Spirit helps us trust that Jesus can take away our sin. So when we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sin and we don't have to look a certain way or, or do special things for God to love us. He loves us already. And our trust in Jesus saves us from our sins. That's right. <laughs> You know what that reminds me of, Gloria? Oh, oh, I know. It's our memory verse. That's right. Romans 3, 22 through 23. We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Let's practice our memory verse a few times and do our hand motions together. Are you ready? We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Should we try it again? Okay. We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Good job. Our memory verse is such a good reminder that it's not about what we do or how we look that gives us a friendship with God. No one can keep God's rules perfectly. Uh, Sarah, you said that no one can keep God's rules perfectly, but you forgot someone. Oh, I did. <laughs> Jesus! Jesus kept God's rules perfectly. He lived a perfect, sinless life. And when we put our trust in him, we get to be part of God's special family forever. Oh, that is the best news. It's not about the work that we do. Jesus did it for us. Let's take a look at our takeaway. Being part of God's family is about what happens in our hearts, not how we look or what we do. I am so thankful that the Holy Spirit works in our hearts to help us love God and trust in Jesus. Me too. Thanks for hanging out with us today, friends. Don't forget to check out the RIV website for more activities. Uh, Miss Sarah? Can we pray? Sure, I would love that. Can you bow your heads with me? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the gift of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you that he works in our hearts to help us love you and to trust in you. Thank you for saving us from our sins. We love you so much. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. See you next time.
半分